Hi everyone, it's Melanie here. So what makes chocolate milk into a chocolate milkshake? Because there is a little bit of a difference. Chocolate milk is super easy and basic to make. So I've already got some, which I've made earlier here, which was literally milk, cocoa powder. Uh, I also used a chocolate protein shake just to ramp it up but you could just use the cocoa powder on its own you could use your revital use smart cocoa if you wanted that extra boost in there as well and to sweeten i've used some honey so it's just really three basic ingredients and this one's got a smart cap in there again just to give that energy boost it's totally up to you you don't have to do that this is just an idea of ways that you can use your revital you products so that is chocolate milk, super nice, super easy to make. So what is the difference then when you look at a milkshake? So milkshakes are thicker. It, they used to have all kinds of exciting things in them, such as whiskey, but we're not doing that here today. And ice cream was a later addition, but you might not have ice cream to hand, or you may feel that's gonna be a little bit too calorie laden for you, or you're looking for a different nutritional fix if you like. So one of the best ways I've found to make anything really silky and smooth and thicker is to add avocado. So I get the avocado from the market, uh, take the um, seeds out, or the seed, is only one seed in there isn't it, um, take the flesh out of the skin and freeze it because they ripen quickly and if you bought a few it can get a bit you know but also it's really good for this because they're already nice and cold now i've already put some tarot greens in now which is just a supplement to help you get your five a day um, with your greens and that's a doTERRA supplement if you're interested i've also put some omega-3 seed mix Again, omega-3 is a really good thing to have in your diet and that just adds to the milkshake as well. So another thing you could be putting to make it more milkshakey, if you're not using ice cream, is to use like a thick yoghurt. Uh, Greek yoghurt is really good. This is just a, um, a plant yoghurt, a plant-based yoghurt, but again that's fine. Other things you could use, bananas are great. Again, they're not going to make it as thick. I really do think that avocados are the ones that are going to make it thicker. And it's still going to have a wonderful taste. It's going to have that wonderful milkshake feel, but without the ice cream. If you were going to make a milkshake, you would just swap out the avocado yogurts and things and use ice cream. So you'd use vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream. It's up to you whatever floats your boat but keep it simple so that's already where's my thing got oh here it is so we're just going to mix in these ingredients <laughs> Oh, look at that. So you've got that lovely, lovely thickness going on. And it's really nice and smooth as well. Still tastes really chocolatey. Just accidentally had a little taster there. But there you have it. That's how you make a chocolate milkshake without the ice cream. And still keeping the chocolatey yumminess in there. If you want to know where you can get your Revital You products through me, then go to HTTPS sample, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash sample al.co.uk. Happy you coffee. Join my Facebook page, Happy You Coffee, on my group, How to Do More and Feel Better. And remember the YouTube channel, 
sign up, follow, so you catch all of these little videos so you can try them for yourself and enjoy having an energy all through the day without those ooh, roller coasters and slides as well. So thank you for watching. I'm Melanie and this is my take on a chocolate milkshake.